Now say candy canes. Candy, candy cane. cane. Christmas time is synonymous with some of the best treats. However, there are bound to be a few imposters on the nice candy list, and you should probably do your best to avoid them. So here are the top 10 worst Christmas candies ever made. I hate them. <laughs> what? Peppermint bark. Peppermint bark! This impish Christmas candy is one that's actually been growing in popularity in recent years, but not necessarily growing any closer to Santa's nice list. Peppermint bark has been crowned by the hipster generation as one of Christmas's greatest joys. However, in reality, this treat sounds much more appetizing than it actually is. The combination of peppermint and dark chocolate may sound delicious and refreshing, but really it's nothing more than a chocolate breath mint, about as sharp as glass, and doesn't taste much better. Where the peppermint patty has perfectly combined the two levels of mint and chocolate to create a perfect treat that leaves customers reaching for more and more, peppermint bark is really only enjoyed in small quantities once a year. And maybe not even then. The popularity of this product has meant higher quality options are now available, which have fixed issues regarding low quality chocolate, but it can't fix the fact that no one really wants this chocolate candy. So don't go barking up the wrong tree. Barking up the wrong tree, Philo. What do you mean? Smooth and melty mints. But can I take these mints? <laughs> no. Avoid the mints. While the beautiful pastel colors of these little chips are absolutely intriguing, and the red and white holiday versions are completely adorable, these treats will only disappoint you with an unpleasant mint flavor mixed with a bizarre, creamy texture. The texture itself is not so much an issue, and neither is the minty taste. However, when mixed together, it is such a strange combination that it becomes displeasing. Despite its lack of popularity and taste, it seems that every Christmas these beautiful little deceivers are always lining Christmas displays and decorating the windows of bakeries and candy shops across the nation. Since they aren't that great to eat, here's a Christmas trick if you're ever gifted a bag of these strange smooth candies. They make the perfect stones for a gingerbread house. Every beautiful gingerbread family deserves a cute walkway up to their front door. So little history is known regarding these melts, it's almost as if they're as magical and mysterious as Santa Claus himself, appearing and disappearing overnight. Magical food! Christmas peeps of any kind. Only on Christmas, kid. There's only one holiday which the peeps are allowed to reign supreme, and everyone knows that it isn't Christmas. How have peeps even dared to enter the ruthless Christmas market when they already have the whole Easter one to themselves? Chicks and bunnies are not for Christmas, folks. Peeps had to find out the hard way that just because Christmas time is a joyful time doesn't mean they should join the fun. The already well-known Easter candy trying to get in on the Yuletide festivities has left most people with disappointment and dissatisfaction. They even tried to change the shapes and turn the peeps into little holiday forms, but one of the worst offenders are the festive peppermint peeps. For some reason, someone thought it would be a brilliant idea to try and combine the beloved flavor of a candy cane with the soft and gentle plush of a marshmallow peep. Unfortunately, the flavor combination is not something to be desired. There's probably a reason the Peeps website is so abundant with holiday recipes. They have to try and figure out a way to make these little things taste good. Like, drop it in your hot cocoa so you don't really taste it. Besides the peppermint Peeps, Peeps are also available in a gingerbread man shape and flavor, as well as the classic flavor in the form of both snowmen and Christmas trees. As cute as these little marshmallows may look, they still don't have their place in the Christmas world and should probably hop back to their beloved Easter land. We'll stick to regular marshmallows. Like regular stuff. Lifesaver Books. What's that little tubey one for? Lifesavers. The candy? Yep. The next Christmas candy is not necessarily an issue in terms of flavor, but more in regards to its packaging. When these books were first launched, they were stuffed with various Lifesavers flavors that lined perfectly on either side of the cardboard box, built to resemble a storybook. The storybook itself was an incredibly brilliant marketing strategy, as it took a classic and turned it into a beloved Christmas candy adored by fans young and old. Unfortunately, the Lifesavers storybook began disappointing long time 
longtime fans as the impressive nature of the first version was slowly replaced by a mere shadow of the original Christmas wonder. Nowadays, the books resemble a much smaller and sadder version of itself. Originally, the books had clear plastic interiors where upwards of 10 packs of lifesavers would be displayed beautifully. But these days, the plastic interior has been replaced with more cardboard, and the book has only one side filled with candy packs. Unfortunately, it seems as though this candy is going to need a lifesaver of its own if it wants to pull itself off of this list of worst Christmas candies ever made. I sort of take it on a missionary position with them. You know, they need salvation. Spiced gumdrops. Do you like gumdrops? I do. Everybody likes gumdrops. This next item on the list is not only one of the oldest Christmas candies ever created, but also one of the oldest candies, period. It seems people have been eating gumdrops for many years before the gingerbread man started sporting his stylish gumdrop buttons. Gumdrops come in a variety of flavors with everything from grape to lemon, but some of the most classic and popular flavors are actually the spiced gumdrops. This mix includes flavors like cinnamon, wintergreen, allspice, and clove. It might all sound super festive and exciting, but we're still wondering who actually still eats these outdated flavors. Back when gumdrops were invented, these would have been some of the most sought-after flavors, so making them into candy only made sense. But in 2020, the idea of a breath-enhancement mint-flavored candy isn't exactly the most popular kind of flavor anymore. Rarely does a mint and gelatin-based allspice candy sound like a must-try, especially with the kids. Unfortunately, these 200-year-old candy candies have found their home as a staple piece of the classic gingerbread house, and by doing so, have maneuvered themselves from an all-year candy into one almost exclusively reserved for the holidays. Technically, these candies are still sold year-round, but we're pretty sure that they're all the same batch from the last 20 years that keeps being brought out every holiday season, because they just don't really sell anymore. Here, have some ribbon candy. Boys love candy. No. Oh, thanks. Ribbon Candy oh, Come on, Quagmire, never judge a book by its cover. Ribbon Candy is one of the best examples of why people say not to judge a book by its cover. This candy is easily one of the most spectacular sugar spectacles to have ever been crafted. Colorful, aesthetically pleasing, basically a fantastical sight for any eyes. The hard sugar is shaped while hot and draped beautifully over itself in layer after layer, which creates a beautiful, realistic ribbon effect. They used to be handcrafted, but modern-day ribbon candies are now mostly created using layering machinery. The origins of the first ribbon candy is unknown. However, it has been recognized in European Christmas candy shop windows for centuries. The sugar folding technique is rather impressive, but that's about all this candy has to offer. A pretty appearance and sugar. That's all it is. It's hard to say if anyone has ever been brave enough to snack on this unnecessarily sweet and overly hard candy. It's usually more for show than a flavorful experience. Just like some of the world's most toxic and beautiful berries, sometimes it's better to appreciate beauty with our eyes rather than with our taste buds. It's such a shame that some of the most beautiful candies and confections are actually the worst in terms of taste. As a practically inedible product, there really was no choice but to add this Christmas classic to the list. Add it to my list of regrets. Jelly beans. How about a billion? Jelly beans in your face! Jelly beans are probably one of the least popular candies that are still consumed in 2020, and just adding a Christmas variety won't really change anything. It doesn't change the actual flavor of the candy, but somehow, despite its recent unpopularity, there's always that one bowl of jelly beans at every party, probably left untouched even after the guests have already eaten everything else, right next to the last can of hoo hash. Christmas time should be all about good people eating good food, and sadly, jelly beans beans don't seem to fit the bill. While jelly beans have tried to make somewhat of a comeback in recent years with new gourmet flavors, the regular jelly beans haven't stepped up their game yet and still have the same sad and unfulfilling taste that can leave anyone disappointed. And you know what makes everything worse? Those pretty, shiny, and glossy beans are lustrous all thanks to shellac. And shellac is made out of bugs. 
Oh, and that's not all. The red Christmassy color? That's directly from a food dye often derived from yet another bug, the cochineal. Are you grossed out yet? It's beginning to look a lot like a Christmas nightmare. They definitely won't give you the belly full of jelly you're thinking of. What is this? It's food poisoning. Reindeer corn. What are these things? I keep looking for Oh, candy corn. Whoever had the bright idea to dress up candy corn, and already despised candy, in red, white, and green, and rebrand it as reindeer corn was either an evil genius or a marketing mastermind. As if candy corn wasn't awful enough just for Halloween, they had to go and make a Christmas version because apparently we didn't deserve that year-long vacation away from this candy following the spooky season. Honestly, it makes sense that they would advertise this as deer feed since it's just about one of the last Christmas goodies anyone is hoping to find in their Christmas stocking. This candy should probably only be eaten by Santa's reindeer. Or maybe not. That might even be a little too cruel for them. Families have always put out snacks for Santa and his little flying friends. And while it might be tempting to get rid of your holiday corn by leaving these out, just remember, you don't want to find yourself on the naughty list. Reindeer corn is definitely a candidate for worst Christmas candy ever, simply because it's a festive version of one of the chalkiest candies of all time. Candy corn at Halloween at least makes sense and actually looks like pieces of corn on the cob. While they don't taste the best, we get it. But a Christmas version? What are they supposed to do besides add Christmas colors? That's right, nothing. This was definitely a candy adaptation we did not need to get into the holiday spirit. We didn't need you to do that! Chocolate coins. Do you eat these yummy tin wrapped chocolate coins? Is there anything more tempting than beautiful gold wrapped chocolate coins? They're a favorite during the holiday season and are not only celebrated and adored as a Christmas tradition, but also have their roots in Hanukkah tradition. The origins of Hanukkah gelt are slightly disputed, but it seems the most common belief is that typically during the early days of Hanukkah, coins were given as a gift of gratitude to merchants by the townspeople to thank them for their year of service. These coin gifts were supposedly also given to the school children in order for them to pass them along to their teachers to thank them for their education during the year. The tradition slowly transformed from the children passing the money on to the children receiving the money firsthand. Over the years, the gelt also slowly transitioned from real money to the foil-wrapped chocolate coins that are so beloved during the holiday season. After even more time, the tradition moved from a strictly Jewish tradition to one embraced by many different faiths. Despite the beautiful tradition behind the coins, most of the cheap tin foil versions that can be found in 2020 involve waxy and bitter chocolate that is less than pleasing to the palate. We can't wait for a new gourmet version to land on store shelves for customers to enjoy because despite the terrible flavor, everyone loves these chocolate coins for the fond childhood memories they bring us. Those are some of my best childhood memories. Cheek. What, is that bad? Spearmint leaves. Don't eat that! This candy is technically one that is sold year round, but with the number of holiday buffet tables and gingerbread houses we've seen these horrifying candies on, they definitely seemed like they would make the perfect addition to our list. The history behind Spearmint Leaves mint candies is just as mysterious as the reasons why they were even invented in the first place. Why anyone would ever want mint-flavored jujubes is pretty hard to understand, but somehow here we are. Interesting. First of all, green foods in general don't have the best track record when it comes to tastefulness or popularity, so these odd gummies weren't off to a great start. These leaf-shaped treats are coated in a dusting of granulated sugar, which many would think would improve the taste, but alas, it does not. Not only are they weird tasting, but they also provide the opposite effect mint is supposed to bring. They leave people with a horrible aftertaste, which will undoubtedly have them reaching for a piece of gum right after. Ironic, since they were the ones supposed to be giving you that minty fresh feeling. The spearmint leaves might look cute as leaves on your gingerbread house, but that's about all. The, the only true acceptable holiday for this candy should be April Fool's Day because they just seem like a good way to prank your loved ones. Here, I got you something special. Okay, here's the number for poison control. Ask for Carol. 
For more sweet videos, just tap or click. Show some love and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell.